In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a bunch of new Blender add-ons that can enhance your workflow in some areas when using Blender. From tools for character creation, fluid simulations, asset libraries, and UI improvements, I'm pretty sure you will find something interesting in today's list. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start with an add-on called Fluid Lab for making fluid simulations and it is made and developed by the same developers of the famous RBD Lab add-on. Fluid Lab is a new Blender add-on that was designed for making simulations of fluids. But is it really good? Well, from what I can see, it can make viscous substances, slimes, and everything else in between. And the best part is that it works in real time and it doesn't require you to go through the whole process of setting up the domain and baking simulations. What's even better is that this add-on enables interactions between different emitters with varying densities, viscosities, and behaviors, which I think opens the door for many possibilities. And just keep in mind that this add-on excels with small to medium scale fluids and provides presets for customizable shaders and seamless alembic export options, which can be useful in different cases. And the cherry on top is that the add-on works well with the RBD Lab add-on which is probably the best when it comes to destruction effects and rigid body simulations and I highly recommend this add-on because you probably should check it out. This allows you to mix between the two in interesting ways. For example, you can make a glass of water break and every piece will interact with the fluids which is kind of interesting and make things look more realistic. Another interesting thing around the topic of physics is the next add-on called Character Physics. Character Physics is not just an add-on, but a physics engine designed to add movements with minimal effort to armatures, similar to motion capture, but the difference is it is without the expensive gear. This animation method can save you a significant time and has superior results compared to traditional positioning and keyframing methods that we usually use. That's because the add-on enables you to adjust the physics settings for each character part individually, which ensures a realistic and accurate motion in comparison. This flexibility allows for interactions that cannot be generated with motion capture alone, like adjusting weapon weight or collision effects. In addition, you can refine motion capture data using physics interpolation, and I think this addresses issues like outliers of IK popping. And finally, you have customizable armatures which enable the animation of various elements like ropes or chains which offers you the tools to tackle different use cases. Still around the topic of character creation, the next add-on is all about doing retopology. Polymating is a really interesting add-on because it brings something new to the table by using a modifier that already exists in Blender, which is the shrink wrap modifier. So the way the add-on works is that it requires you to create some sort of cage to contain your model, then subdivide it, and just like that, you're ready to start polymating. After you initiate your polymating function, it might not look like much, especially right off the bat. But don't worry, all you have to do is use the sculpting brushes to refine and smooth your topology, without having to worry about the edge flow of your mesh since everything gets taken care of automatically. The next add-on, which might not be as catchy as the previous one, it is still useful. Grainy is a Blender add-on that is all about adding realistic film grain to your renders with ease, and I believe it provides a natural and cinematic camera-like feel to your visual renders. But it also offers controls for fine-tuning the grain's appearance, providing settings like Clip Minimum, Clip Max, Kernel, and Sigma. The add-on also allows you to instantly add an S-curve to better adjust the effect. And it also comes with a halation node that I suggest you play around with. The add-on also generates frames to match scene resolution with options for oversampling to refine the grain. And once you are satisfied with the grain, you can export the animation and easily compose it onto renders in the compositor. The next add-on is all about cars. The Megafit Pro is new, but surprisingly, has one of the largest vehicle libraries for Blender, featuring over a hundred fully rigged cars and vehicles that are fully integrated with the asset library. And on top of that, they are fully customizable. 
This one is similar to add-ons like transportation and traffic library. Of course with this library, you will have high quality cars that have proper and clean topology in addition to the ability to customize your car paint color and you compose them using your accurate rig and get them ready to be rendered or animated in your projects. I have already mentioned that this add-on brings a lot of cars to the table and they even come in various styles. For example, you get classic sport cars, classic cars, convertibles, SUVs, electrical cars, estate wagons, exotic cars and luxury cars in addition to pickups, public transportation vehicles, small family cars, as well as a couple of two-wheelers in the form of motorbikes and so much more. Cars are cool and everything. But now let's move to the next add-on, which covers something different. Auto Constraints is a new Blender add-on that can enhance your workflow by automating access constraints applications, meaning you no longer need to manually use shortcuts or switch to the orthographic view since everything is taken care of automatically. And what makes this add-on shine is how easy it is to implement it with just one click and you can get all the benefits that this add-on offers. Also this add-on has an effect on many tools for your modeling workflow. For example, move, tweak, rotate, scale, duplicate and extrude. And what's even better, these tools work across different modes like object mode, edit mode, curve edit and more. The next add-on called Wind Effects simplifies the tedious process of creating realistic wind effects inside the Blender, which can be a hassle, especially when you have to mess around with the simulation stuff. But this add-on brings kind of a solution, making it possible to add realistic subtle movements to cloth objects and even simulate trees and foliage swaying naturally. And when it comes to cloth, all you have to do is define the pin in areas and that's it. But if you want an extra level of control, you can fine tune the simulation settings like mass and stickiness to achieve a desired effect. The add-on also brings a couple of settings to adjust the wind itself. For example, you can change its direction, strength and even its noise amount. And this I think allows you to customize the tree and foliage motion accordingly, whether it is a gentle breeze or an intense storm. So it is up to you. Last but not least, we have Easy Blender Pro. And this one enables you to fully customize and optimize the Blender experience by bringing a bunch of tools that you can play around with. For instance, you can create custom menus, make custom buttons, as well as the ability to make your very own custom panel and pie menus. Also using this one allows you to arrange your assets using custom icons. And it works for both objects and materials. And there is so much that this add-on offers. For example, you can add your favorite nodes, have full control over the camera and render settings, modifiers, lights, physics, snapping, and so much more. So there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.